Welcome to biology session. We are still looking at nutrients. Today we want to look at mineral salts. So mineral salts are inorganic substances that are required by the body in small amounts and their absence causes serious deficiency diseases. So they are absorbed into the body in form of ions. What are ions? Ions are charged particles which can be negative or positive so the functions they function as enzymes activators something that makes enzyme to start working examples of mineral salts are calcium and iron so we'll look at calcium first then we we'll look at iron phosphorus and others so calcium this is a mineral salt important in the following ways formation of strong bones and teeth so when you come to dentition this this is uh, they can ask you about the function of calcium, that is formation of strong bones and teeth, uh, conduction of nerve impulses, contraction of muscles, uh, activator of certain enzymes. So sources of calcium include for animals, milk, eggs, meat and bones. Calcium deficiency or lack of calcium leads to a condition known as rickets. So absence of calcium in your diet uh, can lead to rickets formation, especially the children whose bones are being formed and they are not strong. So the formation of weak and the deformed bones that is a uh, rickets. The next one is iron. Iron, it is the mineral salt which is important in the formation of hemoglobin. Uh, iron deficiency leads to anemia. So lack of iron will lead to anemia, lack of blood. So sources of iron include meat, green vegetables and fruits. So it's important that one has the uh, fruits in his diet. Once in a while you, you buy fruits and uh, uh, consume so that you have abundant source of iron to promote uh, blood uh, production. So iodine, important in the formation of homes hormones that is a thyroxine produced in the thyroid gland so this hormone controls metabolic reactions such as respiration sources include iodized salt seafoods water iodine deficiency leads to goiter okay that is swelling in the neck that is goiter and stunted growth that is the dwarfism then phosphorus Phosphorus is, an important, is important in the formation of chemical substance called adenosine diphosphate ADP and adenosine triphosphate ATP. It is also responsible for formation of strong bones and uh, teeth. Sources include meat. Meat is the source of phosphorus. So we look at vitamins. We have talked about uh, minerals. Now we look at uh, vitamins. So vitamins are the organic molecules required by the body in small amounts and their absence leads to deficiency disease. So they, these vitamins, they are required in small amounts. They function as coenzymes, they act as the enzymes, and uh, the two, there are two groups of vitamins, namely water-soluble vitamins, those that dissolve in water, which is B and C. So we have two, B, C. These are water-soluble vitamins and fat-soluble vitamins, those that dissolve in fats, we have uh, A, D, E, K, which is ADEC. Adic, that is a fat soluble vitamins so we have vitamin c the other name for vitamin c is ascorbic acid you take note of that so this is a water soluble vitamin important for the formation of connective tissues of the body vitamin c deficiency leads to disease called discovery characterized by swelling and bleeding gums poor healing of wounds and painful muscles sources of vitamin c include fresh vegetables and fruits Vitamin C tends to get destroyed by overcooking and long periods of storage. So if you cook vegetables for a long time, you overcook them, you have killed vitamin e, uh, C. Then we look at vitamin D. Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin which is required uh, in the absorption and metabolism of calcium, phosphorus. So for, uh, for, for calcium and phosphorus to work, you need vitamin D okay which facilitates absorption and metabolism so deficiency in vitamin d leads to rickets sources of vitamin d includes fish liver oil milk eggs so the skin is also able to synthesize this vitamin when exposed to sunlight uh, which they call sun basking okay sun bathing 
okay you get direct vitamin d from the sun so roughage this is indigestible something that is not digestible part of diet made up of cellulose remember plants they have got a cell wall made up of cellulose so this is indigestible in human beings it adds bulk to feces and stimulates peristalsis wave motion like along the alimentary canal thereby preventing constipation so lack of roughage leads to constipation which is difficulty defecation due to hardness and dryness of feces so the other name for roughage is the dietary fiber so when you hear dietary fiber it's the same as the roughage sources include maize and polished cereals fruits and so forth so this marks the end of uh, new the topic nutrient in the next lesson we'll be now talking about how we can test for certain nutrients that we have talked about test food test so this is what comes in uh, your practical so you pay attention thank you so much for your attention and time.